this world, we indulged in the pleasures of this world, and we've departed, we've departed from God. And what we need to do is turn back. We need to turn back to God. We need to humble ourselves before the living God that He might forgive us of our sins. The Bible says that today is the day of salvation. The Bible says to call upon the Lord while He is near. Today we can be forgiven of our sins, but it's only if we turn our faith and trust to Jesus Christ and Christ alone. The Bible says that salvation is a gift of God, not of works. You can't earn it, but it's the gift of God. And that we're not to boast about that because we haven't done anything to earn it. We can just accept it and we can turn away from our sin. But the thing is, most people want to be Christians, but they don't want to part with their lifestyle of sin. They don't want to turn away from their sin. And my, and my assertion today is that if you don't turn away from your sin, then you're not a Christian at all. If you don't repent of your sin then you're not a Christian at all. And what I'm telling you is that you need to become a Christian. You need to be you need to be born again because there's a God in this there, there's a God who created this universe and you know it in your heart. The Bible says that you'll be without excuse on the day of judgment. The Bible says that the things of God are made manifest to us that even you, sir, know that there is a God, but you're suppressing the truth and unrighteousness. I know that there isn't a God, and I know that you're a fucking The Bible says that the fool says in his heart that there is no God. And what that means is the fool, the fool is described as an immoral person. So basically what you're doing is you're you're saying that there's no God despite having knowledge Good to see you out here today. Amen. Just wanted to but shake your hand. But you're saying there's no God no because problem. you don't want to answer to God and you don't want to serve God. What does this have to do with pot? <laughs> Nothing? Right. So why are you here? To proclaim the gospel of Jesus shit. Christ so that, so that you sinners such as yourself shit. might know the grace of God, that you might be forgiven of your sin today. Because if you die in your sins, sir, if you, if, you, if you die in your sins, sir, you will go into an eternity in the absence of God. And the Bible describes that place as a place of weeping and well, sir. and gnashing of teeth. It says that the worm dies in God. It says that there is a lake of fire. What does this have to do with that? It says that hell is described as a fire and burning. There's many people here that need Jesus Christ in their life. And I'm here to tell them that. Because they don't realize their need. Because because they, they, they do not know the things of God. But what I'm telling you you today is that you've suppressed the things of God so that you might suit God to suit your your own standards. But that's a God that you made up with your mind. I was a Catholic altar server for 13 years. I know the teachings. I know the bullshit. I read the Bible 12 times during the life of God. You can make up that. It's completely and you'll have to give an account for that on the day of judgment. Amplifying your voice why you so have, you can speak over us why you and have, not listen to what I we have. I can't drown out that speaker with this little thing. I don't know why you think I'd be able to do that. But the thing is, the thing is that we will all answer to God whether or not we like it or not. God will have his glory whether we like it or not. God will either glorify in, the, in your salvation or he will be glorified in pouring his wrath out upon you in an eternity in hell. And this is a warning. I'm here to warn everybody that God's wrath is upon this nation. But we can be forgiven of our sins. We can be absolved of our sins if we would just put our faith and trust in Jesus Christ. Let him know we'll be praying for this. We have a friend in the hospital, so we can't just stop and just walk around and we saw you and we're like, God. Praise God. You're doing great. Are you sure for this? This fine. We're okay. We're carrying all kinds of protests in our church. We've been enjoying our trip in Philadelphia. Okay. But thank you so much for doing this. Absolutely. You got our place that you out or something like that? These just gospel tracks. Sure. Where do you guys go to church? Now, while we might be a nation that mocks God and a nation that that despises the things of God, I'm telling you that a nation will not prosper unless they bow their unless they bow their head to God and they submit to His ways. We know in the Old Testament that the nation of Israel went through judgment when they departed from the will of God. And what I'm saying tonight, and what I'm saying today is that America is a nation that has gone astray, that has departed from the will of God, that has said... My fucking children! That has said... That has said... 
that we don't need God, but what I'm telling you is that you have a desperate need for God because God is the person who puts the breath in your lungs. God is the person who keeps your heart beating. Without God, we have nothing. And what these people do, what many people do is that they laugh at God, but what I'm telling you is that on the day of judgment, there will be no laughing. In hell, there will be no laughing. It will not be a good time. And while we're a nation that's rallying against God and that's raging against God, God created marijuana. While we're a nation that's raging against God, God's judgment will be upon us if we do not repent because God is calling all men everywhere to repentance. He is commanding that you repent of your sins because He is not a God that should be pushed over. He is a God that will be worshipped and He will have His glory, whether it's in your salvation or whether it's in His wrath being poured out upon you justly for the sins you've committed against God. And you might think that you're a good person to this camera off.